got my hands on a picture of the dustman's leader. No idea yet, but I'm going to run it through NGI. I'll update you when I have a name.
keep going. We made it. Cole, I have the results from the photo analysis. It's Alden Tate, the son of Richard Tate. You paying attention? I've got a lot of ground to cover, and this is important. I was transfixed. Moya kept talking while I watched this man, this old, grizzled man, lift a bus with his mind. I'm strong, but nowhere near that powerful. Alden was born to the leader of the First Sons. As a powerful mentalist, he was groomed from an early age to assume control. That is, until Kessler showed up. Alden disappeared into the streets, growing up scared and homeless. But there's no fear in those eyes now. No, the blast has made him powerful, gave him the tools to combat his paranoia. With a flick of his wrist, he threw the bus on top of the hospital, sending a message to anyone that would challenge him. With Trish still inside that thing, I had to act fast. Not that I could do anything to Alden. He was already gone. cared about me, you wouldn't be running around attacking innocent people, destroying what little they have left. You know, it's like you're purposely trying to undo all the work I've done. But what really upsets me is that it didn't have to be this way. You brought this on yourself. You can sleep downstairs if you want. Just stay away from me. Tracking a couple developments, Cole. There are rumors that a large-scale conflict might erupt between the cops and the Warren and the Dustmen. Look into it. Moya, you've got to get me the hell out of here. I don't care what it takes. No one's going anywhere until I have the race sphere and John is safe. You know that. 